my Tuesdays. So today I have a treat in store for you guys. I am going all the way back to some of the beginning of my DIY videos and I am combining them with some most recent DIY videos that I have done and I am giving you 11 of my favorite DIYs that I have done here on my channel. Some of them you guys absolutely love, some uh, not so much, but in any event, they are some of my favorites. And I just wanted to show you guys all across my channel um, some of the DIYs that maybe some of you that are new have not yet seen um, that you can go and replay these videos. So stay tuned. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and yeah, give a comment down below. So let's get into the video guys. Okay, so building this kitchen island was such a treat for me. So this dresser I had purchased from the Salvation Army, and I believe it was $13 I think I paid for the dresser. Um, and I wanted to expand my countertop storage space, and also my children always sat, you know, wanted to sit around the kitchen instead of the table and so I just had this idea to extend the kitchen um, island and made it into like a sit down type of island and it worked so well for my family at that time. This was when we were in our previous home and we needed some extra countertop space. So this kitchen island was like one of the first major DIYs that I tackled and I love the way that it turned out. I used the particle board that's, you know, it's basically um, a ready-made board and batten um, particle board, I guess. I used that, I purchased it from the Home Depot and it was $12.99 and I used it to basically reface the back of the dresser, which turned out amazing. And this is the, the end product of what it looked like. I love the way that this turned out. It was such an easy project. Okay, so number 10 of my favorite DIY project is building a blanket ladder. I have gotten so used to building blanket ladders because I love them. I feel like it is one of the easiest projects that you can do out there and one of the most cost effective projects that you can do out there. This blanket ladder, I already had all the lumber on hand, so it literally costs me nothing to build. Um, but this blanket ladder was just created by um, two by fours. And I love the way that it turned out. I actually stained it with chalkboard stain well chalkboard paint and it's in my son's bedroom right now but I just love the way that this turned out is my floral spring wreath I got these florals from the Dollar Tree and I love the Dollar Tree you guys I actually miss going to the Dollar Tree right now but <laughs> I had some foam just laying around um, the house and I went ahead and just got some florals from Dollar Tree and just started 
you know, putting them in. And this is a no glue um, spring wreath. I did not glue any parts of this. I actually made two of them and you're going to see it in the next clip. I love the way that this floral arrangement came out. It looks absolutely stunning. Okay, so number eight is my faux uh, fireplace wall. I did this in my previous home and it was supposed to be a faux shiplap wall and I just added like a touch of tradition to it with, you know, all the crown moldings and everything. Guys, I love this project and I, I think I'm actually going to recreate this in my dining room. I just, this is probably one of my favorite faux fireplace mantle shiplap wall situation. I just love the way that this turned out. My entire family loved this, the way that it turned out. It was so beautiful. I miss that wall in my previous house. I just thought that it was my first attempt at doing something like this and it just, it really blew my mind as to how amazing it came out. And it was less than a hundred dollars, this entire project. I love it so much. I actually did end up painting the bottom half white. So stay tuned to see if I'm actually going to be recreating this in my dining room. Okay, so number five is my blinged out rhinestone charger. Y'all, this was like one of my first attempts at doing any type of craft DIYs. And amazingly, this video received, I think it was oh, almost 3,000 um, views or something like that. I have to go back and see it, but it, I had no idea that it would touch so many people. But y'all, I enjoyed doing this. It was my first attempt at doing anything bling. Um, that's when I was like loving bling all the way. I wanted to bling out my entire house, but I just, I, I wanted to find you know a more economical way of getting it done because the stores were selling them so expensively and i wanted something inexpensive because of the budget that we were on at that time and i think it actually turned out really really nice um the video quality is not the greatest because it was like like i said was my first one of my first attempts way back way way back in the days i've been on youtube for almost six years now and yeah this is one of my first diy videos that i made but i love it it i love it so much it is absolutely one of my favorites and I just love the the look that it gave to the table i actually took it and i gave them to my mom because i made six of them and i gave them to my mom um for her because her house is more blinged out than mine and um i just love the way that it made my table look at the time it just looked so you know expensive and just blinged out and just royal looking so if you guys are going to attempt any of these DIYs, please let me know down below in the comment section because I would love to see what you guys um, attempted and how it turned out. You can also tag me on Instagram at Regal Designs by Shoshana and let me know what you guys um, you know, have attempted in this DIY video. But I just love the way that it turned out. It was very inexpensive too because all the... Um, everything i got from walmart so it was a very inexpensive project okay so uh, number six is my most recent um, project. I just redid my daughter's bedroom 
and um, I put some DIY board and batten on her wall and y'all she loves it so much her room just looks so cute it is the most beautiful princess like little girl's room I've ever seen and I also combined it with painting my dining room table which was scary and crazy all at the same time but extremely gratifying so I know a lot of you were just like girl why are you painting your table why are you painting but y'all it just it it it's so durable my family loves it it's just a lot easier to keep clean for me and i just love the way that these projects turned out okay now this was one of my favorite finds that i have ever found at a thrift store i didn't get this well, I got it off a of Facebook Marketplace, so a virtual thrift store. Um, this find was for $40, and I've always wanted a china cabinet, but just did not want to pay the price for a china cabinet. And I found this on Facebook Marketplace, and the lady had it there for $40, and I literally was just like, I'm coming for it tomorrow. Do not sell it. I went, got it, and I brought it home, cleaned it down, and painted it white. Y'all this thing took on a complete a total transformation and it just looks so beautiful in my dining room i was going for like a farmhouse feel it does have a traditional um touch to it and that's what i like about it i feel like it's so versatile in its style and i just love the way that it turned out and everyone that comes to my house always like girl how much you paid for that i'm like 40 bucks <laughs> So it just goes to show you can take somebody's trash and make it into treasure. this incredible wall art that I made. I made it out of um, like a, I can't remember the name of it. Oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. But basically that they're about $12 for a case of four um, at Walmart. And I used like a faux alligator skin um, fabric from Walmart as well. And it was $7.99 for a yard. And that's all I needed. And I just, created that I made two of them and I placed them on my wall in my previous dining room and I still have them I actually do have them in my dining room right now and it gives like an elegance like a, an opulence to the space and I just love the way that it turned out I did go ahead and put the nails through the walls I know some of you guys did comment on that but I just I it holds up pretty well and I love the way that um, it's disguised on my wall now and you will never even know that there are nails in them but I just I love the way that it turned out Okay, so number three is my Easter wreath that I did. Um, this was actually a challenge um, hosted by Heidi Sambal DIY. And I just loved this wreath. It's probably one of my favorite wreaths that I have ever created because it has meaning to it for me. It's, you know, my faith is very important to me and I am very, very proud of being a Christian and it just, it just symbolizes to me the love that Jesus has for us, that he would die for us and that he will resurrect in three days, you know, to give us life and life more abundantly. So this piece was really one of my favorite, favorite DIYs. And I just love the way that it turned out. I actually still have it on my front door and I think I am going to leave it up for the rest of the year. <laughs> I love the way that it turns out.
So number two is my DIY faux fireplace um, that I just did for my master bedroom. Most of you know um, that I just redid my master bedroom and that was also a room of the month challenge hosted by Heidi Sambo. I will definitely link it down below or in the iCard so you guys can go watch it. But I love the way that this turned out. It was very simple traditional and a touch of farmhouse and I am enjoying every bit of it it just really adds to the calmness of the aesthetic of my bedroom and I just I love it so much and yes of course number one is building my king size bed frame y'all this was such an undertaking for me it's not something that i thought that i could even you know attempt or even <laughs> overcome but it turned out so remarkably well it is holding up so well and it is very strong very sturdy and it was just built out of two by fours i I really wanted to try, you know, to do this and I am so glad that I did. I really, really enjoyed making this and I really enjoy sleeping on it because I sleep so much better and I know that part of that reason is because of how strong and sturdy this bed frame is. enjoyed this video I enjoyed going through these videos thoroughly I love DIY projects I love building things I love making things this is one of my favorite favorite tool oh my goodness I I literally cannot do anything without my drill I love my drill so much so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and maybe thinking about taking on some of these easy projects they are extremely easy I am not a contractor I am a novice but I love woodworking and I love building things so if you guys did enjoy this video go ahead and give it a thumb give this video a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so hit that bell double tap it twice so that you get all my video notifications and don't forget to leave comments down below because I absolutely love talking with you guys Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next DIY Tuesday. Bye guys.